out here in Verona, New York, guys. I'm gonna see if I could pay for this part. All right, y'all. That road, I know I just double sealed that. But yeah, it ain't. Grand Rising, everybody. Grand Rising. Welcome back to another video of Glow Life of Zay, aka Zay. Your boy Lil Attack, it's super early. It's only um, 622 out here, guys. You know, this is an hour ahead from Chicago. We out here in Vermont. And right now, we sitting at the shipper. We just waiting for them to, uh, I'm really just waiting for a truck to leave out the dock there. Your boy be able to go inside the dock, guys. So with that being said, if you're new to the channel, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. If you already subscribe, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. And just like that, we chilling right now because we can't do nothing to the truck move. Until then, see y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, your boy is finally empty. It's 10, 34 out here. We made it around like 6, 11. Remember, we an hour here, so it was really 5, 11 when I made it. And then 9, uh, 934 leaving but your boy just made two hours of detention i just made two hours of detention pay which you know probably is probably like on 40 dollars 20 dollars an hour but with that being said right now we finna head to new hampshire and we headed to armstead to be exact armstead new hampshire and we only an hour and like an hour and 35 minutes which is 65 miles so I catch y'all when I actually get there. Cause right now, your boy kinda hot. Cause I didn't think the, the sun was gonna pop out like it did today. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna take this bean off. Cause I only put this on my head, guys, just to protect my hair while I sleep. Cause you know, your boy need his hair done. But your boy keep his hair oil and wash. But your boy need his hair done when he get back home. But other than that, I'll see y'all in a second, man. One hour later. All right, y'all. We're down to 39 miles, which is exactly one hour to be exact. But man, guys, I actually love driving in the um, the mountains. One thing I can actually say out of my 10 years of driving, driving on the East Coast is totally different, guys, from driving on the, uh, the West Coast. And one thing I can say as far as on the East on the East Coast, it's more hilly. On the West Coast, there's more drops. And then you feel like you're going super fast, like you got six flags on, you know, Superman, Razor Bull, you name it. But on the East Coast, it's more like, you'll feel like you're hydroplaning, but you're really not hydroplaning, guys. You just got a lot of up and down, up and down, up and down. And the curves out here on the, on the East Coast, you know, you just gotta know how to drive, man. I mean, I'm like right now, I'm on the back road, speed limit 50 and I'm doing 55 but you know you're not really breaking the speed limit only because you know if you know how to drive every anytime you're coming up on a curb being out here on the east coast just slow it down you feel me if you're a new beginner driver and you're getting on the road you're a little nervous use that j-brake 
you gotta remember, on the newer trucks, they got three levels over J brake. So if you're kind of nervous, driving on the East Coast, you're a beginner driver, throw your J brake on level one. So you know, when you're going up all these little hills and downhills, cause they ain't drops, they're just little small little hills and downhills. I mean, you got some hills that they'll uh, boost your truck up to 80 miles per hour or uh, better. But as long as you got your J brake on, you ain't got nothing to be worried about, guys. I don't care what nationality you is. Don't be scared to get out there and drive. I know when I first started, you know, I started in Salt Lake City, Utah. You know, I started with this company called CR England. But not to go too deep into that story, because I can talk about it when I actually get to the drop, you know. Don't be scared, guys. Get on that road, make that money, man. I mean, seeing how each state live, seeing how they they culture is out here, you feel me? It's not bad, guys. I mean, that's the part about yo, yo, check out you know, the, the experience of driving. Meet you know, different people. See different sceneries. It's, it's real nice out here, guys. But with that being said, I see y'all in a second. I just had to go past a car. I don't even know how I just got past the car. 
just by the grace of God, guys. Like, I don't know how I just got past that cop. I just thank God that he with me because he see what I'm going through just to get to this destination that I never ever been to. And New Hampshire, I'm talking to the governor of New Hampshire. If you watch my video, you need your ass whooped. If y'all don't hurry up and pave these roads and make it safe for truck drivers, y'all gonna kill the next truck driver. The only reason why I'm saying that is because I highly stress that whoever building these roads not thinking about truck drivers. And now I gotta make a right turn and I don't even know how I'm finna do this because it's so weird how tight these roads is. Like, I can't stress to y'all enough. Like, it's fucked up out here. Bad guys, I'm three miles away, which is six minutes of going down these. I feel like I'm rock, rock climbing with a truck. Yo, yo, I got an old lady on a bike on the beach, keeping up with me, guys. Insane how she able to keep up with the truck. Like, look at these roads. Look at the Alright y'all, I just got off the phone with them. They say they used to send my trucks with us. 53 foot coming to them all the time. But I was just trying to stress to this lady that, hey, I'm not used to this type of driving. Driving on straight dirt roads for like five miles, guys. Like, this is insane, guys. Like, and I'm so glad I record everything so y'all know what it's like driving out here in New Hampshire. She just told me the road that I came down was not a truck route. But I'm just trying to figure out, like, what is a truck route? Because there's no sign that say truck route. Like, none. None whatsoever. Look at this. How can this be a truck route? I'm climbing up north by the dirt hill with a bunch of rocks. I'm trying my best not to flip this truck. Only because... It don't make sense, man. If it is a way to get to her, this is crazy. I know I got on my GPS from what y'all can see. My GPS ain't go this way. I don't see how this is a truck route. Yeah, I'm driving. Yeah, it's kind of wide enough. But, man, guys, this is so unsafe. Man, guys, never again. Hell no. Nah. Shit dangerous as hell. Got a black man all the way out here in the motherfucking boondocks. Forgive me for my curses, but man, guys, this just worked my nerves to the fullest for the last three miles. We're gonna take a short break. Be back at five. There, guys. I ain't scratched my head in a minute driving. Man, this is crazy. I don't even know where you check in at. Let me holler at y'all in a second. All right, y'all. This is where I'm supposed to be at. So basically, I was just over there, but be behind that little hill. But I was supposed to come all the way across and then come all the way over here, guys. But man, guys, shouldn't no truck driver nerves to get this irked up just trying to get over here. I just asked, I'm like, man, just give me a map and let me know which way I'm supposed to go because it's pretty dangerous over here, guys. And I'm like, like I said earlier, like your skills will be tested, guys, because some places is just not made for trucks, and they say they are. But the last thing you want to do is flip that truck, guys, because you think you know what you're doing. But sometimes it's best to call before you get to a place like I did, because I knew I'm like I ain't never been here. If y'all can see that, like I'm on top of the a hill, guys, and I can see the top of that hill. That's how high I'm in the sky, guys. Like, I'm literally on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> I can see every day, like, clear as day, like. But it's very quiet over here. It's very calm. You ain't gotta really worry about rowdy, rowdy, like you would, like if you was living in a city area. But man, guys, it's pretty quiet over here, but man, guys, it's dangerous. It's dangerous. All right, y'all, your boy feel a little bit better because the man just gave me a map, but let me show y'all what I'm actually talking about instead of just saying. All right, y'all, this is the map he just gave me. For those that already understand, 
this is where we at. I'm gonna go out here, make a left. Then I go down that little hill that I came up, make a left. Go all the way down here. When they get to uh, Luther Hill Road, make another left. And he said, I'm gonna be on this road, which is gonna be Axworth Road. It's gonna be like 15, 20 minutes. And he told me, just keep straight. But he said, people say it's a sign right there, say no trucks, but he said, just keep straight. But if I can't go there, just make a left. Then the boy get all the way to I-91. The way I just came, guys, I just came from this way. You see it look bad already. But thank God, you know exactly where we're going now. All right, y'all, this is what I wanted to show y'all, too. This just to let you know. I'm using this app called Truckers Path. Shout out to Truckers Path because they really is a good app that actually show you exactly where you're supposed to go. But some places does have dirt road, guys. And as you can see, I already had this hit to avoid dirt roads but sometimes some places you only got dirt roads so sometimes it routes you that way anyway only because it's the only option anyway but as you can see we finna head to we headed to monroe new york i said new york monroe new jersey so i see how when we actually get up out of this hill because your boy gonna have to focus because i gotta look at a map on a paper versus gps so with that being said i'll holler at y'all in a little minute
out here in Connecticut. All right, y'all, your boy just spent $707, guys, just to fill up a full tank out here in Connecticut. Because, you know, we only 105 miles away, but your boy was in the red zone, guys. I can't even cap. Your boy was in the red zone, so your boy had to do a fill up just so we ain't got to worry about getting on the field for the rest of the week. Yo, yo, so check out my man Jay Lou on the beach, you know what I'm saying? on Thursday. Oh, well, as long as I maybe get that bread, that's the main thing, guys. But with that being said, Chicago drive fast but smart. Y'all drive fast and dumb out here in New York. And there's way more accidents in New York than it is Chicago. Period. But other than that, it's crazy how they drive. Brave, 
Alright y'all. I ain't gonna stress this video no longer than I already have. There's so much traffic out here just trying to get to New Jersey through New York. Man, this is crazy guys. But if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you already subscribed to the channel, you already know what to do. Hit that like button, turn the page up, help join the algorithm to help me hit this 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers so I can get monetized. So with that being said, it's your boy Glow Life of Zay, aka Zay. Checking in with another video. I'm gone, man. I can't record too much no more. It's crazy over traffic over crazy. Other than that, it's a love and happiness. I'm gone.